Hi, and welcome to another edition of Inside the Artist with your host, John J. Rupert. Today, the artist we're going inside is Wingbow, or the artist who created Wingbow, 610 WIP. Philadelphia is known for many unique and one of a kind things, such as the soft pretzel, the Philly cheesesteak, the mummers, and tasty cakes. For the past 19 years, there's a new sheriff in town, and he's been quietly leaving the others in the dust, or shall we say, at the table. This annual event is called Wing Bowl, and it was created in 1993 by local radio host Al Morgani from 610 WIP Sports Radio. The idea was to hold an event where heartbroken Eagles fans could come together to celebrate a championship, even though their beloved Eagles didn't win the Super Bowl yet again. The first Wing Bowl was held at the Wyndham Franklin Plaza lobby in Center City, Philadelphia, with close to 150 people in attendance. These days, the annual event is held at the Wells Fargo Center in South Philadelphia with close to 20,000 loyal fans of both WIP and Wing Bowl. What is Wing Bowl? Wing Bowl pits each eater against each other, searching for the one who can consume the most wings in a predetermined amount of time. There are two ways someone can enter a contest. The first is to come into the WIP studios and perform an eating stunt to determine if they are a human food processor. The second way is to attend the many wing offs held in the various areas throughout 610's area and venues. This is not your ordinary buffet line. It is so much more and then some. The imaginative minds at 610 WIP have created such a spectacle which has become world renowned. In addition to being crowned wing ball champion, there's expensive prizes to go with that title. In fact, there's also prizes given out to the best entourage and the best wingette. What's a wingette? A wingette is a beautiful woman who comes to the event to entertain the crowd while, while encouraging her chosen contestant to chew on. Easy for me to say. There were, there were so many talented and dedicated people at 610 WIP responsible for this huge success of Wing Bowl, including Al Morgani, Angelo Cataldi, Rhea Hughes, Big Daddy Graham, Hugh Douglas, Glenn Macnow, Anthony Gargano, Mark Frazetta, and Joseph A. Wechter Jr. Wing Bowl 19 this year was held on Friday, February 4, 2011. And it was a huge success. If you're interested in any more information about Wing Bowl's past, Wing Bowl's current, and Wing Bowl's future, please contact WIP 610 AM Sports Radio on the internet. Or you can contact me and drop me a line on Facebook, John J. Rupert, your host, your creator, and your man, Inside the Artist. I'm out.